Hi guys, and thank you so much for watching. We are back with the fortress build, and we are still working on the palace. Um, I'll give you a quick heads up of where we're up to. Uh, basically, as you can see, I've been marking out some... Because um, at the end of the last video, I did state that I was going to do a bit of work on the garden, just have a bit of a break from the building. Um, but in true me style, I did do some work on the building off camera. I'll quickly show you what I've done. Um, I've put up four chandeliers. One there, one there, one there, and there's one on the back side of that wall over there. Um, there's still torches everywhere because the place does need lighting up a lot better because obviously it's very dim in here so if you take the lights off the floor you can't even see what colour the floor is it's that dark um, but obviously as we add tables in and stuff like that we'll also put torches around the building so it's properly lit up um, I've also put some torches up on these top pillars um, on the walls there, on the walls here anywhere you see a, a, a torch with a red thing behind it basically apart from places like this which should have had that put on but I didn't do that for some reason um, basically anywhere you see something like that and um, the torch is there for a purpose it's actually going to stay there um, easiest way to think about it so all these ones up here I've all got them on um, also I've done the side walkways I did say I was going to do step system up to the top which I've done as you can see there um, these torches I'm not sure yeah I suppose they're going to stay there aren't they um, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. um yeah so now you can walk straight through this pillar here and um, we'll sort something out up there and then you can walk up into the main hall uh yeah so that's pretty much what i've done on this um part um obviously i still need to do the back part of the wall here need to work out how exactly i want to do it but it's not decided 100 percent yet <coughs> um because it's going to be a bit of a weird shape and it's just going to bug me if i don't go down there and have a look no, don't. I think they need doing on the other side as well. Yeah, I thought so. So it was just in my mind then, because I've done it on the other side. Uh, yeah, so on this video, um, obviously I've just done all this bit of work off camera. And I'm going to do some work on the garden now. And um, try and get that to look half decent. There we go. So, let's have a look outside and see what I've been up to. <clears throat> Well, as you can see, I've been marking it out with um, markers because I want the centre of the, the centre of the garden here where we're going to put some sort of water feature in the centre, uh, some sort of um, like you know, you know what I mean, big fountain sort of thing. I don't know what I'm going to do, um, and then I'm going to put some um, hedges down and stuff with some flower gardens and whatnot. So I'll do a jump cut now, and then when I come back, hopefully I'll have at least a bit of a plan of how it's going to look. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in two sets. Hi guys, okay, so what I've been doing is I've just been playing around with a few things out at the garden. I'll show you that in a second. I've also made a few alterations to the entrance ways you can see here. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. I don't know why you guys are here. Um, yeah, nothing major. I'll show you the garden in a second. The other thing I need to really sort out um, in the next couple of episodes is probably I need to sort something out down here. Uh, what the hell? Okay, let's not go down here. Why the hell are all these creepers down here? What the hell? Okay, um, right, what we need to do, um, i get rid of them. Oh, there we go. Don't know what happened there. Um, hmm. I was playing on a different map earlier, so maybe it just switched to flashbacks and everything, I don't know. What are you doing here? Hello! Free! Sorry, uh, distraction. Uh, yeah, under here I need to do something with it because, like, if, if basically if that wasn't on, if, um, if it was on, sorry, um, but what's it called? Uh, enemy, like monsters. Loads of monsters are going to keep spawning down there. And then you'll be up there doing something, like sitting down for a banquet, and all you'll hear is zombies going. Bleh. So we have to fill the space in. Oh, uh, we'll probably, and this is a possibly that it probably will be um, I'm probably going to use it for like um, a cellar so it'll be like um, not a dungeon um, but like a wine cellar is sort of area different things and it just lights it up a little bit there's a lot of room down there um, what it entail doing though is bricking everything off so putting brick slabs across the floors bricking the walls up um, we'll put um, another layer of roof over so you can't see the carpet um, I'll brick all that off and then we can play around down here, we've got some wine cellars and whatnot, maybe a, I don't 
think we should have a dungeon and um, it's a palace and palaces. Well, let's call it palace dungeons, but I'd rather have a dungeon because we're going to build like structures, you know, to, to things that you would expect to find in a medieval setting. So there'll be things like the garrison um, where the swords will be, um, there will be the, the cells where they, you know, the, the city militia will be, and that's probably where the dungeons and stuff will be. Um, so yeah, so under A, I'll probably do like a wine cellar sort of thing, maybe even a crypt, something like that. Uh, then obviously below this level we're going to do the sewers, um, but that's for a future video, that um, way into the future yet. Yeah. Uh, but I'll show you the garden, show you where, where I got up to. Um, da -da 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 I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm happy with it actually. Get some height on so you can see exactly what I've done. So yeah, so it's a very basic sort of farm. There's a, Obviously, a fountain in the centre, um, these grass verges on either side of the tree, the centre of each one. Part of a couple of trees around these edges here, three trees on that side, three trees on that side, um, and put some flowers down. Um, I'll show you some up here. So, if you sit on the balcony here, you can walk out and see the garden looks. I'm kind of, I, I like it actually, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, a lot of messing around, trying to get everything symmetrical as always. Um, obviously, I couldn't use MC Edit or anything like that to do this because everything's a mirror image, so it wouldn't have worked. Unless there was a way you can mirror image on the MC Edit, but I never looked into it. But it was, sim it was simple enough to do, just making sure everything is exactly symmetrical, and I believe it is. Um, the only things that won't be symmetrical, obviously, are the trees, because you can't make them symmetrical in that sense. Um, yeah, but I'm kind of happy with it. A little fountain in the centre, lit with some glow uh, glowstone blocks. Nothing highly impressive, but yeah, that's a nice water feature to the centre. Nice little path you can walk around to go to the main palace entrance. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here now because I've been working quite a long time on this section, um, and I need to have a bit of a break. Um, and I've got other things I need to do. I need to start looking at doing the top walls up there. That's what I want to do next, really. I want to try and finish this full front fascia off. If I can finish this bit off, then I can start doing the roof. And once I start doing the roof, then I know what the back part of this building is going to look like. Because um, then, because I'm not sure about the height of these pillars yet. So what I really need to do is build this part of the building up, then I'll know exactly how high these pillars need to be. And then I can roof them off. Um, and then, yeah, and then we're all laughing. So, yeah, so I'm going to end this one here now. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Uh, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. So uh, take care of each other, guys, and goodbye.